Four people in Ivory Coast have been handed life sentences today for their roles in a machine gun attack at the beach resort of Grand Bassam. 19 people were killed there in March 2016 in what was one of West Africa's bloodiest jihadist attacks. Well, 14 other suspects have been tried in absentia. France 24's Camille Knight takes a look back now at those events of six and a half years ago. Abandoned clothes left behind in a panic. March 13th, 2016. It's a date the seaside town of Grand Bassam is unlikely to ever forget. Shortly after midday that Sunday, several armed gunmen stormed the beach resort, a popular weekend destination not far from Abidjan. Al-Qaeda's North African branch claimed responsibility for the attack that left 19 dead and 33 injured. Several French nationals and a German were among the victims. Police was deployed at the scene to investigate, but also to reassure a traumatised population after the first attack of its kind on Ivorian soil. We never thought this could happen in these conditions. It's not easy. It's not easy. Investigators were later able to find some of those who helped the terrorists, including the driver who transported the weapons, the man who scouted the area and two others who hosted the terrorist leader. As well as the psychological damage it caused, the attack also hurt the Ivory Coast's tourism industry. Years later, the country is still trying to move on.